Hello everyone, Sunshine so the Two, welcome to another mod review, this time on Washing Machine. An add-on for clotheslines that pretty much adds in a bunch of motors. So, we've got pretty much the following here, let's take a look in REI. So first up you've got the cores, which is simply made with any other cores that you have, or an empty one. But most likely you start with an empty one, and then when you use sand for it, uh, let's see, an empty core is logs, redstone dust, and stone. Uh, and then from there you want a motor casing to use alongside the core. Which an empty motor frame is simply frame bars and a motor axle set. So the frame bar is wood and sticks. Then you've got the motor axle, which is a motor bar. And you've got the axle set, which is four of those axles. And then obviously you use the following accordingly for the frame. Uh, which I assume maybe you could use for decoration. I think this was just an item. I assume the cores are as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for the most part, once you have those made, you pretty much can start using them. So for example, we'll just place a clothesline go here. We'll just go straight to about over here. And we'll just set this up accordingly. Now as you know, of course, you just need the crank, and you just need to set something up here, for example, I don't know, red sand, for example, maybe I've harvested a bunch of it, um, and then maybe some ores, I don't know, another gold silk touched, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, so, oop, not down here, but uh, your ordinary crank will pretty much perform like so. It's not too bad, but obviously there is a lot that you can do with it, due to the motors. But if we pretty much just put a motor underneath, now that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna drop everything there and break everything. Alright, so we'll go with our motor here, and we'll just swap out each of these accordingly. Nope, there we go. I knew that was gonna happen at some point. So we'll go with F. Um, You've obviously got up tiers like the S class ones. You've obviously got X, Y, and Z. And the empty. Um, I'll actually check with the recipes to see if I'm missing anything. I'll obviously, just put the cores like so. And then you can just put the others in as long as you have them. Ah, okay, yeah, and there's the recipes for each one with sand, dirt, grass blocks, apparently. Which is interesting because you need to silk touch those and you have a recipe for it that allows for them. Stone, which is obviously achievable, planks, logs, yeah, and then the more expensive ones like redstone, iron, lapis, gold, quartz, emerald, and then I'm assuming an existing tier, specifically B, to get X and Y. And then Z, whether I have an ancient debris or emerald. This is a motor recipe. Anyways, um, so we want to put our S tier ones as well, and we'll test those on this item, and then X, Y, and Z tier as well. So put you down, you down, and you down, and then we'll want an anchor on each of these. The testing, obviously I could just place a motor like every so often, but I just want to make it a lot more simpler so I don't have to keep placing them all the time. Anyways, so we'll go from each point of here to then along like so, and then just break each one. So, for comparison, uh, instead of using a crank on the anchor, you obviously want your motor here underneath it, and then you want a lever to pretty much power it. So we'll just put, for example, our stuff again. Like so. And we can compare the speed difference to the other. And also, we don't have to do anything with it either. It can just do its own thing. And I think it's because it's not on the right side. So we, or it's just the distance, maybe. I don't know. Um, I think you can maybe still apply a crank to it. Maybe just do that now. Just to get it going, maybe. Okay. It is probably intended to be slow, though. It's just, you know, 
Um, but you can still use the crank, of course. But yeah, that'll be it doing its own thing consistently. Um, I guess we'll maybe just put one each side because it'll make it easier just for comparison sake of all of them. Because why not? Um, except for the distances. Right, and then that's that, yeah. Right, so we'll go with this one here. I'll we'll put, say, some cactus on. And we'll use a lever. You can see the difference of the speed there. Got the C1, which was put, I don't know, some clotheslines on, for example. So you can see for comparison how much faster that is. We've got D tier. Which I'm going to need some blocks for this. Like so. Let me see how much faster those go. And then I guess we'll do the same for the other tiers. So. Uh, let's see, we'll go with, I don't know, let's see, glass, and then again, for comparison, how much faster, and we'll just keep going, of course, with each one, we'll find out what we can do, so we'll do some glass again. Here. And we'll swap it out with something else like lime wool, because why not? Something different, just so we can easily look at each of them accordingly. So that they're not just using the same blocks, and it makes it sometimes hard to distinguish. There we go. Slightly faster. And if so, just get a lever for each here. Place this in like so, fill in the gap, and we'll be fine for testing those. So, I can go with know, purple, we'll do that, which is much faster. And again, this to you go what? And then we'll go with let's see, yellow. Like so. And what else is there? There's lapis, I guess. And then the next two. Which is now getting to S6. And we'll go, I don't know, yeah, I guess wet sponge, why not? Right, then we get to obviously tier X, which we'll go with, I don't know, um, let's see. Chorus, oops, purple, I guess. Like so. We'll 
sort of attach these two now since they're the end. And let's see, we'll go with melon and soul sand, just for something a bit different. Okay. So, tier y, like so, competing with x slightly a bit faster, probably just because of the positioning, obviously, as well, which is more so the case, I think, than anything else. But anyway, and we've got tier 0, which again is probably due to positioning more so. But either way, yeah, that's the comparison of each of the different tiers and their speeds. Obviously, there's no like capacity change or this, that, and the other with it, so it's just speed increases for the most part, as far as I can tell. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.